Hey guys, hope you're well. Stogie o'clock, time for a vid. Now, I'm working on a custom right now, kind of balls deep into it already. As well as it being kind of special, there's going to be um, a kind of figuring out process along the way. So, thought uh, bring you along for the ride, show you what's going on. I know some of you like these vids. Uh, but I'll show you where we are, we'll catch you up basically, and then uh, we'll, we'll crack on with the rest. All right. So here's what we got so far. Vintage uh, Ivory Micarta for the scales. And then it's gonna have a little black strip running down the middle there. So this came as one solid block. What I'll do is I'll flip in a picture in a second so you can see how everything came to start with and that'll give you an idea of the progress we made so far. So yeah, that came as one, one solid block. So I've cut that down, faced it all down to the thickness that I want. This chunk here started off around about looking like that kind of length. So I've cut that down the middle now. This is going to be the uh, the bolster and the handguard. It's going to be a two-piece setup there. So I've got the other piece of this is now in the uh, the, the mill, in the vise. Uh, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take that down to size, face that off and uh, get that all cleaned up and then I'll do the same with that chunk there. I've got uh, bronze pins, 1 8 bronze pins, these are all phosphor bronze by the way, 1 8 bronze pins for the scales and the tang, boink, and a couple more shorter ones which I'll be using as locator pins for the bolster and the handguard. And here we have our blade, now this is hand forged Sam Mai, come at me Lin. When this came to me, this was this was almost perfectly flat. It needed hardly any, I mean, it, it was covered in scale. Again, you'll see the pick, uh, so I've surface ground it, but uh, but the quality of the actual, the finish from the forge, from the hammer, was was outstanding. I don't know, tolerance was probably within about a mil over the entire length. Hopefully we're getting our D-Lamb, can't see why we will, the geezer knows his stuff. And like I say, the pride in his finished piece was was already there, so, yeah, keen to try this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be milling out, after I've done these, I'm going to be milling out the uh, the reliefs and the tang, and uh, then I'll give it a little dip in ferric just to make sure that I'm central, that my surface grinding is central, or is, is equidistant, sorry, from the central core. Now, like I say, this is going to be a, a figuring it out process as we go. I do have a picture I'll be working from, but that might change as we go, because something that looks, you know, awesome in 2D, might it might not translate well to 3D. So I might be tweaking it and fiddling it as we go, but I won't stray too far from the original design. It's gonna be fun, so I appreciate you coming along, checking it out, having a look, let's do this. Right, so this is the first uh, slab of bronze in there that I parted off. Surface is pretty grunky right now. Oh yeah, going proper old school dirty rooms, bit of hard bass on the radio. If it gets demonetized, so be it. Now, I had to use the Makita Porter band to cut this, so this is 32 mil square of bronze, so it was quite tough to cut. The Makita did an admirable job of it, but it was tending to wander quite seriously. I started it off down both sides with an angle grinder, just hopefully to give the, the blade the path of least resistance, if you like. And it seemed to work, I had to do a lot of correction, as you can see, the surface is pretty nasty, but both these pieces are going to be uh, 10 mil thick. So that gives me some, you know, plenty of meat to take off, but also plenty of margin for error as far as cutting it was concerned. So without further ado, let's cut this.
Right, it's got a little bit of chip weld there, so it's squirt some WD-40, see if that does the trick. Yeah, that looks good. Alright, we're getting there. Now I'm not too worried about the surface finish on this just yet, all I want to do is make sure it's cleaned up. given a beautiful surface finish overall but for some reason it's catching just that little bit there so I'm gonna but only on the left to right pass so I'm gonna give it a go on the right to left pass and see if we can get rid of that completely all right finish and of course that'll all be hand finished afterwards right I'm gonna deburr this flip it round take off this side I might be changing the, the dimensions the um, the sizes this that and the other because what I have is a is a 2d representation and I might decide that 10 mils too thick I might want it 11 I might want it 9 might want it 9.7 so the closer I get the size the more I'll be able to visualize what it is that I want what I'm after and how I want the end result to be so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna take it down some more keep knocking the camera I do apologize and uh, see how we go on. surface finish a little bit gunky but again I've left enough meat on there to give it a, a shallower depth of cut all right 10.94 10.94 okay now looking at it See, while I'm looking at this, I'm taking into account the balance of the blade, the balance of the handle, obviously the overall balance of the knife, how much meat there'll be coming off it. And I think, I think 10 mils where I want it. So I'm gonna pop it back in, take it down to 10 mil and aim for the same surface finish I've got on this side.
they got me going. 9.82. Yeah, I'm so I had to take off 9.86. I had to take off a little bit extra because something was going on. On um, the second, close to the end, like the third from last pass or something, something started knocking me and it left a bit of a, it, it dug in in a couple of places. So that's good to go. Obviously, if this was, you know, a precision component, then this would be binned and I'd start again. But uh, but it's not. It's just, this is going to have a, ha a bunch of hand finishing to it. It's a handmade product. 0.15 of a millimetre out on the, on the on the handguard is uh, is not going to kill anyone. All right, so beautiful surface finish, which is what I was after. That's good to go. I'm going to surface the next one now. Let me just show you show you the comparison between the two now. See, that was the original finish we had, and on the other side as well. And that is how much we've taken off because these were about the same. So I'll be doing the same for this one, and I'll uh, come back when these are the same. Here we go. Last pass on this piece. Lovely surface finish again. Phone's getting a little hot apparently. Uh, so yeah, excuse the juddery. But uh, yeah, surface finish is good. Let's see how it marks up. Nice. Right, phone's getting a little warm so I'm going to curtail this, come back to you when it's cooled down a little bit. We're back. Put the phone in the freezer for five minutes. Job done. Cool enough to work with. Now, while that was happening, I was setting up um, the bolster and the handguard, or at least the two, the two bronze slabs that will be the bolster and the handguard, back in a vice, because what I want to do now is I want to face down these, true these up, because when I come to drill the locating pins, I want them to be set up nice and square in the vice. So I've just touched off here. I'm going to drop it down, I don't know, one, 0.15, face off, see how we get on. Point 0.15 was perfect, lovely surface finish. And now these two are square as you like. So I'm going to deburr this, pop them in the other way, do the other side. Cleaned up the chuck and the jaws, uh, the device, the jaws. in a couple of new parallels all right let's take this back touch off with this one I'm going to have to refer to the drawings for the locator pins and the position of them. So first things first, I'm going to clean up this this uh, workstation here. Get that all spick and span, look after your tools and all that. And uh, then I'll come back when I've got the info I need to drill the pins for these puppies. Alright, I think that'll do for now. Hope you enjoyed that guys, thanks for coming along and I will see you all in the next video.